Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? My name is Wilton Our ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Now, of course, this year we will indeed be getting a brand new, very highly anticipated at this point, Guardians of the Galaxy video game, just a couple of months away from when you're watching this. And so to get excited and to get hyped up for that release, I decided to actually play this game right here, which is Marvel's Telltale series or Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, interestingly enough, this is a game that I thought would be very easy to actually go on ahead and pick up. I went to the online store for Xbox, and it's not there. I went to PlayStation, it's not there. Steam, it's not there. And it's actually only available as a physical release. So if you're planning to play it, you will need to try to go on ahead and hunt down an actual disc of this game. But fortunately enough, I managed to do that, and we're ready to play. Now, this game is a couple of years old, but I've not had a chance to go on ahead and play it before, so this is all going to be a brand new story for me. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what Telltale managed to go on ahead and cook up. I have played their Walking Dead games, which were awesome, and the Batman series, which was incredibly, incredibly epic, especially for somebody like myself who's a huge Batman fan. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what the Telltale series Guardians of the Galaxy has to offer. Now, of course, guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up button. Let's try to hit a thousand likes. I think we could go on ahead and reach that goal. And in addition to that, I have a question of the day for you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below, who is your favorite member of the Guardians of the Galaxy? Let me know down in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And so without further ado, let's bring up the episode selection screen. It is, of course, structured across five episodes, just like every Telltale series has pretty much followed that particular formula and episode one is titled tangled up in blue thanos the legendary the legendary i can't speak no! the legendary mad titan is only one of the guardians growing a list of concerns as villains from all corners of the galaxy come gunning for peter and the gang the bonds of this unique family of heroes begin strain okay so without further ado let's get rocking rolling adjust the slider that's fine there we go. We're all good. I think we're all good. And by the way, I am playing this on the Xbox Series X. So I am curious to see. Maybe it loads a little bit faster. It should, after all, considering it's using an SSD. But we'll see. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you, well, in this case, how I play. Oh, baby. Here we go. Boom, 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 Telltale Games. A rad mix. Let's go. I like the rad mix. Yo, graphically, this looks pretty good. I... I'm really scared to say this, but it almost looks better than the new Guardians game. A little bit. I mean, the graphics look pretty crisp, you know? Now, to be fair, Telltale is always very stylized, or was very stylized, obviously. Guardians, Rest in peace to the Telltale Thanos company. Destroyer of Worlds, Big Glowy Gauntlet, Wrinkly Chin. Yeah, I've heard of him. You have to help us. This is a priority one distress call, Star-Lord. Um, well, rarely ask for your assistance. sounds like fun. We're desperate. Sounds like fun. Count me in. I don't know who he reminds me of, that design for Star-Lord. He looks like another actor, and I can't quite pinpoint it. We tracked Thanos to this Kree planet, but when our fighters engaged, he decimated our fleet. Without your help, he'll kill us all. <laughs> that no surprise force. face. Half our ships are already gone. Mm. Set up a defensive position around the planet, but we can't hold out for long. You got it, space cops. Be right there. The Guardians are on it. <sighs> Thank you, Star Lord. Please no worries. Go. You also need to calm down. This guy's like in a permanent uh, YouTube influencer face expression. Time to rock and roll. You know, wherever YouTubers like this, it's like they never seem to actually blink. Uh, have we arrived? That looks like the Milano. Unidentified planet. Abandoned Kree outpost. Peter. 
Hey, it's Gamora. Looks like death out there. Business as usual. I'm not complaining. Sheesh! Gamora, heads up! Okay. Nice early rescue there. You uh oh. Quit making out to help me <laughs> And there's the ever lovable raccoon. Rocket. Thanks, Yumi. <laughs> he has a nickname for him, Yumi. On to the next disaster. And that is where to begin. Thrusters fry, compilers spit down carbon. Oh, Groot's on fire, yeah. So that's four members of the Guardians. Only one more remains. Groot says thanks. Oh, wait, if you're all here, who the hell is flying my ship? That would be Drax, I would imagine. I mean, I guess he's not doing such a bad job of it. Do not distract me, Star Lord. Thanos is here. Today, I finally slay our nemesis. My dead wife and daughter shall have their vengeance. I have longed for this day of death. Hey, I'm all aboard the vengeance train, okay? But let's worry about not getting killed before we kill him. We are on a spaceship, not a train. What? Where's the logic in that? What? <laughs> okay. Why is it that the bad guys always get the cooler looking ships? Enjoying myself. Yeah, well, I'd enjoy you shutting up. Okay. Off to a great start today. I am Groot. Okay, that's a whole lot of rockets. Thrusters engage! We dodged. All right, guys. All is well that ends well. Show you how it's done. Okay, well, I guess maybe we should have just had Drax continue to pilot this thing. He seemed to actually surprisingly do a better job than Quill is doing. So, I suppose that has to be Thanos' ship? Oh, and there we go, of course. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Starting only as a Guardians of the Galaxy story could begin. Which is... Our ever favorite, lovable band of misfits put together, and somehow they still figure out a way to get out of their crazy situations. I am Groot. Uh, no, no, that was absolutely not fun, you stupid log. <laughs> Seems like Rocket has a much more uh, contentious uh, relationship with this Groot. Okay. Good. Where is the other green one? Ugh, wishing we had better seatbelts. Still breathing. Mm -hmm. Unbuckle and... Ow. Oh no! Get me down! Get me down! My sweet, precious little baby! There's an infant on our ship? Well, that can't be good. <laughs> Where is it? Boosters activate. Let's go. We get to see a little showcase of some of our abilities. Stupid, stubby little arms. <laughs> uh, you need a hand there, little buddy? Your powers of observation are phenomenal. We're all going to be red paste in a second if you don't help me. Okay, so what are we doing? Careful with that. What is that exactly? Is that one of his big giant cannon weapons something or another's? Hey, all is well that ends well. We didn't blow up. And we all would have been atomized. Why do we have a weapon of that kind? It sure ain't no toy. We get pushed around by a lot of dangerous jerks. 
I built this bad Look at the size of that cannon. This is rocket's height. Ain't this is the size of the cannon. She's still a little unstable. But who isn't? I like the way your brain works. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's just give him a compliment. So give him a break. We almost just died trying to survive this landing. Give him a compliment. Pat on the back. And the mad. Oh no, Thanos. Towards those ruins. Looks well, like it seems like space. most of the planet it's is somewhat us. abandoned. Just the five of us. Yes, just the five of us. And that gun. <laughs> I like that before the introduction of the gun, Rocket thought it was a terrible idea. The five of them and the gun? Excellent idea, suddenly. Tangled Up in Blue, episode one. Thanos, through there, I smell his evil stench. Okay, you can see a lot of the Nova Corps ships are obviously completely obliterated. What is that? Oh, an achievement. Okay. Appetite for Destruction. Completed Chapter 1, Episode so 1. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay, so this gun ain't totally <laughs> operational yet. Yeah, no! It only has one shot. But think of it as a feature. Yeah. Uh, you can't harness enough energy to atomize a biggish moon or smallish planet without some drawbacks. You know, Rocket, that that seems like a major design flaw. So's your face, Quill. <laughs> Dang, Man, bro. Was terrible. Listen to me, Rocket. I'm not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. Unbelievable. Hmm. Hmm. Now, let's see. To find a way through, look around and select objects using the right stick. Okay, so. Let's have a quick gander. So first of all, there is something up there. Uh, can I look at it? I think I see a way over. Tread lightly, Star-Lord. Thanos must not detect our presence. Okay. I'm not gonna tread at all. I'm gonna fly. Okay, so there we go. We've reached the second layer. Oh, hey. easy there, Shifty. Okay, so let's try to squeeze through here. I sure hope we can make it. We have made it. Here's the inside of this. Castle? Or whatever is left of it, I suppose. What do your red eyes see? My red eyes see a giant boulder trying to squish me. Boosters activate. Ow. Peter? Peter, are you injured? Say something. Uh was uh, totally part of the plan definitely did not almost die <laughs> my spine is broke can you imagine breaking that Whatever news to you them gotta tell yourself. oh great this is an indiana jones moment isn't it there's a giant boulder or something else that's gonna now try to go on ahead and kill us oh boy oh no what happened did you find the nova Corps? yeah um we're all dead. Big rip. Hang on. Find you guys a way through. Okay. So time to do some puzzle solving. First of all, I am officially creeped out. Okay, so we can actually walk faster by holding RT. Cool. Ooh, what is that? Alien growth. I don't know why I'm so excited about that. Ooh, what is that? Alien growth. Like some kind of I've been playing too much Fortnite, haven't I? Fungus. Maybe. This is how The Last of Us begins. <laughs> With some deadly fungus. So, let's try to get away from that. Especially considering our luck as of late. I think we're better off to just take a look around here first. And Not sure what it looked like before, but this place... Trying to avoid trashed. anything that might end up being deadly. 
Okay, interesting. There's an impact crater. So I wonder what hit there. Because that looks almost like a bullet or like a shot. Well, I guess it wouldn't be just like a regular bullet. Probably like a laser blast or something. Thanos did this. Okay. This is the type of thing where you take a look throughout this area and you're like, maybe we don't have to fight Thanos yet. You know, maybe we're just not quite ready for that. Yeah, so obviously Thanos has caused complete chaos here. And it seems like it was quite a one-sided affair because all the Nova Corps soldiers are down and out. Okay, so I suppose there's a platform here which we can listen to. Hmm. Oh, that sounds like a horror show. Okay. So let's take a look at the sparking panel or sparkling panel. Is there anything that we could do to fix it? That's the question. Okay, let's take a look. Let's approach the door itself and see if we could Stand first back. give it a push. I'm gonna try and push it down. Be strong, Star Lord. Hey, wow. It's That's not working. working great. Yeah, thanks, Rocket. You want me to remind you how good your weapon was? Uh, worth the shot. Okay, so that didn't work either. Let's just take a gander at the door itself and see if there's anything we could do. I'm gonna need something heavy duty to punch through. Well, keep looking. Wouldn't we be able to use maybe that ship up there? The one that seems to be like it's still in pretty good shape. So let's fly up real quick to the secondary layer and take a quick look at whether or not we can get inside the ship. Because that thing should be equipped with some heavy artillery. Right? Let's go. That could do some damage. You there? What's up? What's going on over there, man? I'm working the on it. Nova Corps ship. Right smack through the wall. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I think its guns can blast the door open, but I can't get into the cockpit. Check the side. Should be an access override panel. Yep, I, I think uh, I see it. Might have stripped one of these ships for parts before. Found the panel, but I can't get it open. Yeah, you're gonna need an override chip to access it. Mm. High ranking officers usually carry them. Maybe got I'll it. figure out who was in charge. Well, I've got the time scanner. What the heck is a time scanner? That's interesting. Press RS to activate time scanner and locate the ID chip. Is this going to show me? Hmm. Not here. I guess I'm just a little confused as to what would it appear like? Is there something like that's going to be highlighted? Hmm. Well, these guys weren't in charge. Okay. So... Drop our scan again. If it's not that guy, then it either has to be that guy in the corner, or maybe there's another Nova Corps trooper. Oh, yep. That's the one. No? Gotta keep looking. Never mind. But we did see him charge forward, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, so why don't we fly up? 
And maybe we might even have to fly multiple layers up. I really like how they did this system of where you can visit multiple layers and you can just use your boosters to fly up. That's really, really cool. Very nice. Okay. Let me check all the way at the top. And that is probably our commander. Correct? Bingo. I need or officer, I should say. Okay, so we got the chip. We're ready to make way back down. With their uniforms, it's it's kind of hard to tell them apart. But I guess the helmet is really what we needed. We're gonna fly, then bring ourselves. One layer down and land. Okay, brilliant. So use the ID chip to open it up. Okay. You guys still out there? Affirmative start. Five button prompt. Um surprise. Why should I be surprised? Uh I guess Ooh. this is why. Boom! I mean, maybe I did. I should have probably maybe warned them more. Hindsight being twenty twenty, because if one of them was standing there, that door comes down, and it would be uh. Don't! Was surprising. This is a Cree temple. They are a technologically advanced species, strong of body, powerful of military. What is Thanos even doing here? What does he want with this place? Guess we'll find out. I know one thing for certain. I gotta get this thing working or we're all dead. I'm almost done tinkering. Promise. Just a little more calibrating. <laughs> calibrating. We'll, we'll be a good leader. Rocket. We'll be a good leader. Nothing inspires the creative soul like intense pressure, right? Hey, sure. I think this can take us down. If the controls aren't too damaged. Yeah, yeah no about that. I, can undamage I might have had something to do with that. Thankfully, Rocket is a technological genius. And Groot says he's worried we bit off more than we can chew. Ah, why don't you relax, you big wooden baby? We're just going deeper into the old creepy temple. More than I could chew? Ha! Yeah, you put something in this mouth, and I'm going to chew it. I'm going to chew it so hard that you Never mind. Stop. I should, yeah. That was, uh, there. I'll just leave that Let's one do. with, uh. Time has come. I just Thanos falls. That was a rough comment. On my planet. Peter. For a great battle. Our cringe. Would rally the Star Lord. Quill. It's time to go be. Heroes. Guys, I'm only gonna say this once today. Let's go be heroes. Is it just me or does it look like his mask is a little bit like higher up than it was in the movies? Because I swear like you could see his chin sticking out every now and again. Here we go! Guardians, let's go be heroes. Oh. <laughs> This is very slow. There we go. Okay. Yep. Still riding the elevator. Okay. That was almost like a Deadpool gag. Like you could see something like that in a Deadpool movie. Okay. I mean, how long? Okay. Somebody say something. This is very, very uncomfortable. I am Groot. Thank you, Groot. Thanks for alleviating the pressure. I appreciate that. Good one, pal. Okay. Oh, we don't hear any more of the... F oh, okay. I was about to say any more of the screaming or... Fighting. Holy, that voice. Yo, that's a great voice actor for Thanos. At last. 
What is that? It's mine. Gotta be some sort of Cree weapon. It's yes. the Mad Titan himself. Hey, you! Jackass! Childish insults. I would expect as much from you. Dude, the echoing from the audio every time that he takes a step. Like a great wave, crushing the bones of every inhabitant and the civilizations of every planet I pass. Oh, let me guess. It's a ancient super weapon or something. The Eternity Forge. Called it. Daughter, you have aligned yourself with such pathetic creatures. I was never your daughter. Then you will die an adversary. Oh, can't we talk about this? You know, discuss your feelings, figure out why you're so angry. You speak like a petulant child. No, I speak to like someone who watched die. Marvel's What If episode number two. That's why. Thanos, you should check it out for yourself. And then you'd get why I offered to just talk. Uh-oh. Dang it. Groot is on fire again. Now, I guess the good thing is that it looks like Thanos does not have the Infinity Gauntlet. So I'm not really sure what he's using to fire those. Okay. A little bit of blasters fire. Drax. Toad to toe. My wife and daughter. With Thanos. Oh, dang it. He just completely blocked that like it was nothing. You're right. Thanks for training me to kill. I'll put it to good use. <laughs> this track is like, round two! Let me try again. Watch out, Gamora. Okay, we need to communicate more as a team. We're fighting him as a solo fighters. Blast them, Quill! Attack, Drax. There we go. Yo, the uh, Guardians are putting up one heck of a fight here. Oh, I spoke too soon. What's that? I thought that was a deadly blow there from Gamora. We just gotta keep dodging. Rocket! I know! Gun! I know! You took everything from me! I removed your weakness. I gave you purpose. <sighs> oh boy. Going up? <sighs> Epic superhero landing. <laughs> I love that Drax is just relentless. He's like, I'm just gonna try to hit you with something bigger this time. It'll work. Nice. Yikes. Nice buckling shot. Follow a punch. Oh, we missed. Guys, it's done. It's ready. There we go. Go. It's about time. Just make sure you don't miss, because you said that there's only one shot. No weapon can kill me, vermin. <laughs> okay. Run. Uh, come on. Oh Your boy. Shot. Get up there. Some platforming over here. Time to blast them. Dang it. That stinks. Okay, Groot, you gotta step up. Ooh. Did that work? I mean, I guess why. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, why wouldn't it? 
But... What is this mechanical nonsense? Why are there three triggers? Just... Peter! Pull... One of them, I guess. Maybe. Oh! Sheesh! I'm ending this! I mean, that would be the worst possible thing, is if Thanos gets control over that weapon. You are a waste of life! Quill, move. This is crazy. Episode one, we're like 30 minutes in and we're already going toe to toe with the Mad Titan. I wonder if there's going to be one of those games where they go like, and then we flash back. You have failed. We got to crawl. Guardians of the galaxy. You cannot even guard your sins. The galaxy is mine. Smile, son of a... Ooh! Dude, he just basically hit him with a Kamehameha. That works. And it doesn't sound like we can hear any chirping from Thanos. Oh boy, yeah, that definitely oh, hurt. Geez. Sheesh. This chest is looking like hamburger meat. Yikes. Wait, did they just kill Thanos? There's five epi What? Okay, I guess let's just see what happens. I'm just confused as to... If he's dead... Already... Who do we fight next? No way. I mean, I guess we got to give a thank you to Rocket. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're heroes. Thanos is dead. We did it. Woo! Poggers. <laughs> heroes get fat stacks, right? Sure. That's how this works. Heroes don't do it for the money, Rocket. And I am in the wrong line of work. <laughs> Uh-oh. What is that glowy thing? So this is the Eternity Forge. I, is this going to be a jump scare? Oh, okay. I thought he would, like, grab back. Guess this relic is useless. Huh. <laughs> but this gun wasn't. Who dead? You dead. Rocket. Dead? Yes. Hey, hey, dude. Stop. Stop kicking. He ain't me. getting any deader. We must respect the fallen. Yeah. Respect this. <laughs> we are victorious. Uh, the biggest terror the galaxy has ever known is We have no done war. it. We prevented endgame. I never thought this would happen. <laughs> I never thought this would happen what this early. What is that noise? Well, I guess we're going to get ourselves another achievement. Complete chapter two of episode one. Oh, back to nowhere. What a beautiful day to be alive. Is he really using an ancient Cree relic as a shot glass? 
Savage. Absolute savage. Bottoms up. Only top shelf food for the man who killed Thanos. I've got some thousand year old Centaurian ale. Hey, drinks for my team. Five drinks coming right up. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. Huh. Believe it. Believe it. Sounding like Naruto Zumaki over here. Thanos. Do you think we still would have ended up together? All of us. Do you think we would have been friends? I'd like to think so. One way or another. Yeah. Me too. For better or for worse. You have to admit, we aren't the most likely group of friends. <laughs> Rocket is it's just an course. absolute it's wild man. Each other crazy. Or wild raccoon. I mean, with Drax and Rocket, even I might have a bit of a temper. Sometimes. <laughs> it's a miracle we haven't murdered each other already. Well, that's what family is, Gamora. You drive each other crazy, but at the end of the day, None of that matters. If we're a family, it's only because you made us one. Aww. Honestly, Aww. we stay because of you, Peter. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, no pressure. Yeah. That was a lot of, uh, ego inflation there. For a guy who's, uh, already doing quite well in that department. Got, uh, quite the ego, so... Not sure if Gamora's gonna regret that. This guy's fist bumping. Bar Bolax? Is that what it's called? Things are looking pretty chill, but. Oh, okay. They, things were looking pretty chill. Sure. Uh, chug, chug, chug that liquid, whatever that is. Uh, yes, I feel nothing. Great. Wow, that didn't affect you. Allow me to explain. I feel nothing. What a feeling to not be feeling. That's a little depressing, Drax. Gotta be honest with you. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. I have long dreamt of this moment. And its arrival is satisfactory. Then we drink for them. I know how much this means to you. Now, I can join my family in the afterlife. Without regret. I was not there to save my family before. But now, that I have exterminated Thanos, my redemption is complete. <laughs> Groot's totally right. He said Peter killed Thanos. Now you, big guy. Uh oh. Let's not. Nonsense. Don't. Yeah. Don't start Literally, that. I got my revenge. Didn't see. My hands are too strong. I would break such a puny device. Of course you did, Drax. You killed the guy who killed your family. That's the definition of revenge. Yes. Thank you, Peter. Those are precisely my beliefs. I shall celebrate by consuming this vile swill. That's a weird way to celebrate, but you go yeah, right ahead, buddy. This is the gun that blew a hole in Thanos, but you know, no, you know that Rocket's gonna put that thing up on okay, whatever the equivalent of eBay won. is. Be like, we can even sign it for you. <laughs> and it comes with a piece of Thanos's armor. For authenticity's sake. So, as I was saying, I built this brilliant, beautiful piece of machinery with my own two hands. I can tell. You're impressed by my uh, technological virility. Ain't nobody in the universe can do what I do. Especially not any of you chumps. Things break, I fix them better. You need a weapon? I'll make you ten. The position of lovable genius has officially been filled. 
<laughs> You're just lucky I'm a good shot. Ooh, Ooh boom You're roasted. Lucky this gun ain't got another charge. What is your problem, Quill? Oh, I'm we bad. Just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it. I, I could. Nah, I don't need this. Maybe me and Groot. That escalated quickly. Just a duo. Focus on the stuff that really matters. Making money. What good is saving the galaxy if you won't even share the credit? Rocket, look, I, I'm sorry. You know what? Okay, I save it. There's plenty to drink back on the ship. Rocket. Okay, well that escalated quickly. You all wouldn't last a week without me. I mean, he's not necessarily wrong. But it's more like everybody has their role on the team, right? Um. So, do you want to leave too, Groot? I am Groot. So I guess Groot is not leaving. At least for now. Who is that? Drinking out of a galactic super weapon, I see. Oh, I thought he was looking at the guy with the visor. You kicked incredible amounts of ass today. Thanos is all kinds of dead. Yeah. I know. It's been a complicated day. Well, how about a refill? Why not? On my way. Okay. You disrespectful human! How dare you! Oh, man, I... You know what? I'm sorry about that. I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh-oh. He seems I'm to have recognized the item. Watch your step, Star Lord. Yeah, and you watch yours. We'll just apologize there, since we were the ones that bumped into him, but... Guess not everyone's a fan. At least I managed not if push comes to shove. Drop this. My hero. Bada beam, bada boom. Thanos murdered your people. I I thought you'd be happier once he was gone. He was a monster, yes. But he was also my family. I can't make sense of it. Being upset is okay, Gamora. And this has got to be a lot to handle. At least I have all you guys to distract me. We will try to do our best. I keep thinking about Nebula. Your sister? I called her that. We both called Thanos father. He used to force us to fight. To prove who was worthy of being called his daughter. <laughs> what an absolute savage. I won. We couldn't stop until there was blood on the ground. That is messed up. Very. Yeah, it is. But Nebula believed it was normal. So yeah, and that's why Nebula worked with him. And you joined the Guardian. You stabbed me while I was sleeping. Because I won. Imagine how she's going to react when she finds out we killed Thanos. She loved him, I think. In her own way. Oh, she is going to be pissed. No kidding. There's a small part of me that wants to see my sister again. But when she finds out what we did, she's going to lose her mind. She'll hunt us all down and kill us. You don't know Nebula. Imagine me, but angrier. Let's just yeah, stay away well, from her then. She doesn't know, won't come back to save yeah. us. There we go. Look, just leave her alone. That would be the safe bet. Besides, I wouldn't mind starting fresh. To, move to fresh beginnings. To moving on. Are you drinking without me? Oh, hey, Drax. Where's Rocket? And Groot. We had a bit of a scuffle. Quill. The tree went with him. 
the tree went with him. Perhaps to the fallen, to honor their memory. That is customary after a battle. Two, whatever comes our way next. No, we should toast to the dead. May they be avenged. Well, everybody could toast to whatever. Very well, to dead friends then. That's so still morbid. Next. Just drink, Drax. Okay, so a nice celebration, an epic fight, a celebration, a bit of a fight between the Guardians, within the Guardians. And so what's next? It's clear that this there you are. Eternity I Forge, for you. I believe is the name of that item, uh, has some type of significance. Big, big problem. Okay. What is the problem? It was not my fault. I barely consumed my body weight in that toxic liquid. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Oh, I don't Wait, care. they literally Who's just have Thanos' body on the desk? Out how to pay our tab. Well, I do have a solution to that problem. Even Captain Killjoy over here is gonna love it. In fact, it's so good... Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Chapter after. 3 of Episode 1 is complete. Like Thanos. Don't worry, I ain't holding a grudge. Yeah, whatever it is, I'm sure it's brilliant. Why, thank you. It certainly is. And? Would you like to share? We're gonna sell Thanos' body! I am... No! Uh, what? Uh... <laughs> Not a bad How? idea. Selling a corpse? Do you I'll hear yourself, Gamora? You were just giving a spiel about, oh, how he was your family. Exactly. And I know just the guy. The I collector. guess the collector, yeah. He loves buying exotic crap for his museum. So Thanos, the newly dead Titan, will be perfect. He'll pay you tons of units for that body. He's I'll just say that's definitely pretty weird, but... Uh, okay, well that is... that is very weird. You got this purple freak laying dead in front of you. A tree puking his guts out in your toilet. <laughs> and this is the weird thing? Look around you! Also good point. Weird is the new normal. Weird is the or new normal. We could turn Thanos over to the Nova Corps. They've had an official bounty on his head for years. Plus, it comes with the added benefit of not having to deal with criminals like the Collector. Yes, Gamora, you're thug, right. Bottom line. But the Nova Corps, they but... want peace and order in the galaxy. They have thousands of ships and soldiers. The hell with the Nova Corps. I don't care about those clowns. You and me, Pete, are in complete agreement. Plus, we'd make I think, way more money. I think we need to think more Guys, for the sake of the story we the here. Biggest, you know? Biggest criminal in history. We shouldn't turn right around and become one ourselves. <sighs> Working with the Nova Corps is the How right would it thing be to do. I mean, it's weird. You're being a greedy little rodent right oh, now. As if you're so high and mighty, green lady. You suddenly forgot all the innocent people you murdered for that psycho? I remember each and every one. Not that you'd understand. You do whatever the hell you want, whenever you want. Hey, Rocket, cut it out. Way too far. You kidding me with this, Pete? This is why I need a friggin' break. It's Peter's call, Rocket. Not yours. Enjoy staring at my furry backside, chumps. Okay, so I guess we have to decide, don't we? What it is that we're gonna do. Can we interact with anything on this side of the ship? I mean, it's just cool being able to explore, at least to a certain extent, the Milano itself. Hey, Rocket. Move along, Pete. Go talk to your buddy, Gamora. Okay. I got nothing to say to you. Okay. You keep being sourpuss. Uh, we'll go talk to Gamora and see uh, if she's doing fine. I mean, I agree. Gamora does make a very good case in terms of the heroic thing to do. She is not wrong. But I also think that uh, the Guardians buddy? would probably prioritize get oh that is just oh yo 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 that is hang in there well you pal. just uh, you hang in there pal we're gonna get through this together okay i am root okay yeah that's uh 
That's that. Okay. Well, let's, um... Uh, let's take a quick moment to talk to Drax. Uh, doing all right after last night? The Rodan tried to deny me my victory. But you, my true and noble friend, Peter Quill, stood with me. I believe Hovat and Camaria can rest peacefully. What is he now. eating? Oreos? Um. I really. I'm curious to see what he things. says. Let's Nova see. Core, collector thrown into a black hole. That is up to you. He is dead. Okay. I'm really know. starting to come around to the idea that we probably should bring him to the Nova Core. So. Eating your feelings, I see. With Thanos defeated, there is a void inside of me that only these rations can fill. Okay. Good to know that. Um... You know, I've never asked. Hovat and Camaria. What were they like? My wife and daughter. They were... kind. Brave. True. Qualities I, myself, aspire to possess. Ask me no more of them, Peter. I do not always wish to remember their faces. All right. Gotta run, Drax. Just a small little conversation, but one that begins to develop the relationship along... Degrees. Okay. And just like that, we're right back to super literal Drax. Okay. So, it does look like we can enter Peter's room, actually, here. So this is cool. Let's see. Maybe there's some cool Easter eggs here. You are awesome. Thank you. I do like that poster. Imagine just waking up every morning. Yeah. Bam. That's what you're looking at. <laughs> it's nice and obnoxious. Just like Peter Quill. Let's take a look at our bag here. Had this bag since I was a kid. Used to hold candy. Now it holds... Well, now it holds alien candy. Okay. Hey, Mom. Oh. Sweet memory of his mom. Oh, when the world kicked him down. Cool. What did that say? I didn't get a chance to see the second line. Oh, yay, yay. And it doesn't look like it's going to let us reread that. Okay. So, I think we need to head upstairs. Because I think that's where Gamora is. I think she's over in the... Uh, Cockpit area. Oh, hold up. Maybe not. What is oh, going on here? Good. I need to fix that up, actually. Is this Gamora's room? No, that's just the stereo system. Oh, man. Is everything on this Which ship I guess is broken. Great. That's another broken item. That must be another one of the... Uh, quarters of one of the members and body you did, you did. <laughs> who did and you did about to be someone else's problem indeed main console that terminal took a beating in the crash still offline right Gotta use the one on the bridge okay so up up and away we go And I think that's probably where Gamora is as well. Is on the bridge. Hello. So, what's going on? Hey, Peter. How are you doing? Fine. Staying as far away from Rocket as I can. Whatever you said to him last night really set him off. Now he's taking it out on the rest of us. It was a tiny comment about the so, fact that... Uh, something on your mind? Mm. So, you still mad at Rocket? He needs to watch his little tongue. I may have been too harsh with him. He just... Oh, he's so infuriating. That he is. That he is. You still worried about Nebula? No. I, uh... 
<sighs> I feel better. Talking it through helped. Well, at least that's good. Progress. You're right. I should focus on the future. Mm -mm -mm. I am terribly wise. I do have all the answers, you know. Endless wisdom just flows out of me. <laughs> okay, let's not overdo it. Why do you like the Nova Corps so much? I don't really like to talk about it, but I was an assassin for Thanos. I killed so many people for him that I lost count. Tyrants. Innocents. <laughs> Didn't matter. If you ever hear the ridiculous nickname, the most dangerous woman in the universe, that was me. That but sounds pretty cool. Before, they turned a blind eye to my past after I joined the Guardians. Being with you guys, making the galaxy safer, it's my chance to make up for what I did. I see. It's a, it's a chance at um, a redemption. I uh, talked to Rocket. He is definitely not my biggest fan right now. Ah, <sighs> perfect. I guess I'll talk to you later. Okay, so... For you. Ooh. Don't trust the Collector. You should call the Nova Corps. Okay. So, let's hop onto the bridge. Do we have any messages? Oh, Yondu messaged us! What's up? Hey, boy! I've been hearing all sort of craziness around the name Peter Quill lately. I like how he spelled lately. Like people saying you friggin' kill. Killed. Good spelling there, too. Thanos? I don't believe it. Okay. Here's Bolax. Uh, look, Peter. I know you're a regular here. Maybe too regular for your health. But you and your team bought an absurd amount of drinks and never paid me. If I let you get away with it, then everybody else is going to want free drinks, too. Do me a solid and pay up. Quill, hey, how's it going? Having a good day? I'm real happy that you're cranking around checking your messages instead of just calling the collector. Okay, so, oh, whoops, nope, there's another message. Who is Howard the Duck? Hey, PQ. <laughs> like that he calls him PQ. Uh, either something went wrong with Rocket's credit transfer uh, or that Fleabag pal of yours still hasn't paid out the scratch he owes me from Poker Night. Every duck has his limit, and he's pushing me over the line. You tell him I'm not playing with you guys until he coughs up what he already owes. Howard, P.S. You guys drinking next week? Feathers crossed. I'll be able to get off a world for a few days. P.P.S. Say hey to Groot for me. Okay, alert. The following message has been flagged as spam from Universal Church of Truth. Last year, the most faithful and awarding year of the Universal Church of Truth as we continue to do some non-believers. Okay. Sounds good. Peter Quill surviving guardians. This is an official inquiry as to the status of your team. Uh, there are many conflicting reports circulating as to what exactly transpired on that Cree planet. Please let us know whether you are still alive at your earliest convenience. Okay. So, ooh, Cosmo the dog also messaged us. He says, uh, Lost Jacket, P. Quill, Rocket, Pip, and Howard. Uh, he said, One of you leave your jacket at bar after cards. If you're having jacket deficit, this may be your jacket. Uvajayme, Cosmo. Okay, and there's a bit of back and forth with the jacket there. Okay, so that's all the messages that we've gone through. The codex, I think, will just feature different characters. Yeah, cool. So this is some of the stuff that we've already learned. Uh, and then we need to choose whom we're going to call. And I think after weighing everything, we do need to call okay. the Nova Corps. After Nova all, Corps. they were part of that fight. Star Lord. They deserve we you to get conclusion you to that story, to that mission. Out. Our fleet was wiped out. Well, it was touch and go, but the Guardians had my back. Yeah, speaking of which, I have something you might be interested in. I got Thanos lying right here. Really dead. Smelling up the place. Now, I understand there's some kind of bounty 
on him. Is that right? You have his body? <laughs> I can't believe it. Hey, I guess it's two birds with one stone. We might actually still get a bounty for it as well. Which would solve that tab problem. Even though it's like, I feel we could, we could probably solve that problem with a mission or two. units with the collector. What were you thinking, Pete? I rolled out the red carpet for you, and you took a friggin' nosedive. Oi, I should have just sold them myself. Don't be so greedy all the time, man. I am not all the time. Only when it comes <laughs> to money and us having it. So that would be all the time, Rocket. Groot says you did the right thing. Yada, yada, yada. I say we totally missed out on a big score. We'll get another chance at a big Shut score. Up, Fine. If we defeated Thanos, we can get some big missions done. I ain't going with you. Calm down, Rocket. Look, how about we throw in that relic? That'll give us a little extra. <laughs> I guess. Every little Where bit is the relic? Actually. Oh, come on. Where did I put that thing? We're only in it for the money. Another chapter in the books. Uh, I mean, I guess we could check the bag. Oh, there we go. Um, why now? Why is it activating now? Peter. Earth. 1987. Oh, she broke it, Mom. That doesn't mean it was okay to hit that boy. Violence isn't the answer to every problem. Are you listening to me? Nothing wrong with punching a bully. He deserved it. You know what? He did. But it's not taking the high road if you're using your fists. You gave me this for my birthday. I mean, you should be pissed <laughs> off too. <clears throat> and what he did was wrong, but... But you, you... Don't just go punching every person who makes you mad. And the way that we reacted in the bar shows that he has learned that lesson. But sometimes you got to defend yourself. That kid practically shaves. <laughs> what? I could have taken him. Uh, uh, don't get cocky, kid. I'm thinking from the look of things, he took you. There's that bag. Keep happening, Peter. I know I haven't been home as much lately, but that's all the more reason I need you to step up and take some responsibility. I know. Then you know tomorrow you're apologizing to that boy. And I need what? a real apology. Bruh. No smart Alex stuff. I'm not apologizing to him. That guy was an a-hole. Peter, language. I only said A, mom, come on. Uh-huh, <laughs> you and I both know what that letter means. It's like Captain America it and real Tony. Real hard to see your side of this. When you act this way, it's like you're only thinking of yourself. What we need is a little perspective. Okay, so it is cool. We're getting a lovely little like flashback, I guess. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. Beautiful. <laughs> These last few months haven't been easy for either of us, but um, I'm not always going to be here. I worry about you. Don't say stuff like that. This isn't easy for me either. You're going to be around long after I'm gone. I just... I don't want you to be alone. Mom? <coughs> I'm fine, baby. It's nothing. <clears throat> it's just the dust. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I mean, he can't promise it because we know he'll that. break that promise. I don't know what's going to happen next time. Well, try. That I could.
You fixed it. Hell. What can I say, huh? I'm pretty good. <laughs> hey. Oh, great song. Someone with exceptional taste must have introduced you to this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that was a great wholesome moment there. Come find me, Peter. Whoa. What? what? The relic will show you the way. Hey! Peter! Are you uh -huh. okay? You've just been standing there, talking to this thing. What did you hear? You called me mom. Huh. It's been hours. Hours? The Nova Corps are here. Okay. Uh, yeah. You look like you just saw a ghost. Something isn't right. I... I really don't know what I just saw. When I grabbed the relic, I... Was suddenly back on earth in 1987 as well My mom was there peter your mother is dead i know i i know i know she is i just somehow it didn't feel that way <sighs> we can't keep the nova Corps waiting but i do not trust this thing no way we're selling it all right showtime let's go Okay, I guess it's time to talk to the uh, Nova Corps. There they are! Arriving in style to pick up Thanos. Let the trade commence back on nowhere, this time in the hangar bay. Thank you, Guardians, for bringing Thanos' body. No worries, Nova Corps. Salute we from the Blitz Army to you as well. Purchasing his remains? Probably to put in that hellish zoo of his. But we will dispose of the body properly. Well, sometimes look at rocket in the background the right there do you see him in the milano no just completely furious look at him just kicking no things the galaxy is in your debt star lord as are we no worries once we have verified thanos's corpse the bounty is yours let me guess it's not the real thanos is him that's taking longer than it should. <clears throat> Hurry up. Dude. Ugh, this is taking forever. Well, it is. I've just got to say. I'm a big fan of yours, Star Lord. You took out the Mad Titan. No one else could have done this. Well, of course you are. Who's not? <laughs> Narcissist. Just a bit. Well, I don't know what narcissist means, but I agree with Gamora. Rock it out. <laughs> Thanks, Rocket. Confirmed. Thanos the Mad Titan. Okay, I was worried. I thought it was definitely going to be a fake. Oh, of course. Okay, once the body has been received by processing, the bounty will be released to accounting. You should start receiving your payment in installments in six to 12 months. Right. Ugh, Just don't let standard Rockets protocol. hear that. There's a lot of red tape and paperwork to go through. Oh, come on, man. Help me out here. I mean, can't my biggest fan speed things up a little? Well, <laughs> um... I might be able to pull some strings. Hey! But, uh, in return, I, I, I have a small favor to ask. Just like tiny. tiny what, a favor. selfie? Can I, um, <clears throat> um, touch your gun? <laughs> I've always wanted to. It is um, legendary. Uh, let's not make this weird. Oh. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I didn't mean to make it weird. You made it weird, dude. I am Groot. Yeah, Who knows if he turns on us? <laughs> and we're all done here. 
It's been an honor working with you, Star Lord. The Guardians have become allied with the Nova Corps. Well, maybe. Now Groot just destroyed one of their probably the quite expensive queen. drones. What now? You have something I desire. Who's that? Is that Nebula? No, that, that can't be Nebula. I don't know the who that is. At the forge. Oh. She is from the Kree. Oh. And since the could not retrieve it earlier, Enemy spotted. I must take it myself. I will not fail you. Okay, again. so that's the guy that saw Quinn. Quill, sorry. In the bar, remember? There's a handful of Kree soldiers. Retrieve the relic. Can you Alright, let's fight. Speak, kid. Is that a yes? Ah, just follow me. Here we go. Booyah. So We're rocking. We're good. I think. Dang it, how many of them are there? It seemed like there were five before. Has to be more than that. But she's brought a whole army with her. Let's fly. Get off me, dude. Ooh, nice. That works. Now that's not good. Move, Peter. You can't lose that little relic. Come on. Love the fighting in the background. This really does feel very Guardians of the Galaxy That's from the mine. MCU, just in terms of styling and pacing, etc. Uh, no, no, hey, hey. Okay, so she just destroys the ship, probably so that they can't easily follow them. Also interesting, she wasn't there to we kill. Have what we came for. The guardians she was just there to get the eternity forge which again originally belonged to the kree so kind of makes Run, sense right the ship. The engines are down. Gonna take them we can't wait they're getting away i'm coming with you there's only one pack allow me to fight beside you star lord i killed thanos i can kill some measly blue warriors the size of that warship you can't fight your way through that Take me, and I'll never even know we're there. Let us paint her ship red with blood from the inside. Gamora, you're with me. As you wish. Kill all the Kree for me, Star Lord. If you do not, I shall never forget you. <laughs> Thanks for being so dramatic, Drax. I appreciate that. All right, away we go. To the ship! Peter. That's a really nice shot there of Star Lord. Whoa, watch out. Peter, Gamora. Kind of busy, Rocket. You need to know this. That ship you head towards, it's Kree. Commanded by someone named Hala the Accuser. Oh boy. Kree? But their planet was destroyed. Now they were extinct. You ain't wrong. That ship. Those people shouldn't exist. Well, I'm looking right at you. Flying through all these boulders. There's the airlock. Right 
right behind you. Careful! Oh, that's not good. Thanks. Anytime. All right, we're in. On board the Revenant. The Cree worship. Like it looks like aliens. Let's like the on. ones with the xenomorphs. We got the Electric Warrior achievement, which is given out as you complete you chapter number five of episode one. I found you with that relic. Now you go flying off after a Cree warship? Is this about that dream you had? I... I don't understand. What are you telling me? Please, just trust me on this one, okay? Why do you think I'm here? I'm just worried about you, Peter. What if that relic is messing with your head? We don't know what this thing is. It could be affecting you. Honestly, I'm just as confused as you are. Confusion or not, that relic is dangerous. Who knows what else it's capable of? Look, we just need to get the relic back. All right, Peter. Whatever you say. Yeah, right now I think... I don't necessarily disagree with him. Because we don't know. I don't even disagree with Gamora either, but... We just simply don't know what the relic actually does. Is. But obviously, for Peter... And let's be honest, for anyone... The way that the relic what? acted is quite enticing. What the hell? I have a lot of information on Quill. Of... Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Okay, that is not good. Is this an entire Kree army? Those look like some sort of canopies that are frozen. Whoa. This is more tomb than warship. And we're sure they're actually really dead, right? The Kree are a technologically advanced species, but science cannot defeat death. It's a cool line. Science cannot defeat death. I guess time will tell. About that Those one. Are Cree, can you read them? What it says. I can. Much better. Okay, so. Ship of only a six percent crew efficiency. That. There's the remaining it's crew, I guess. Dead, folks. The bridge. Hala's got to be there, which means that's where the relic is. Hala would be expecting a direct attack. We need to find a way in there without being seen. Probably should reset the energy grid, right? Stasis pods now offline. The equilibrium terminated. Uh, whoa. My bad. They can't get Or maybe we shouldn't have done that. So what is it over hey, there? Gamora. Ooh, a way out. I'm game if you are. Perfect. Okay, so we can go through there. Just a quick little question I have. There was still one other button prompt on the computer, though, right? Does that mean that this door is open now? Footsteps. Okay. There will be guards beyond the main door. We have to find another way in. We can't risk anyone alerting Hala. So then... I guess the only way we can go... Would be through those secret little passageway here, right? Lead the way. I mean, it seems like that's literally the only way. The bickering and back and forth between all the guardians. Someone it's just part of what makes the guardians the guardians. And your weapons. We must find them. They cannot be far. We're all good. 
So as they go to check the cryo tech and the cryo storage, we get to sneak right past. This reminds me a little bit, a bit of the Arkham series with all the vents and stuff. Okay. So where are we exactly? Uh, that looks like the bridge. Peter. Do not worry, sweet one. You shall be back by my side soon. Once we return home, the process can begin. You survive an encounter with me and return for more. Peter Quill. Uh oh. It's pronounced Star Lord. One more step and she dies. It will be easy to remove her head. Do not test me. Wait, 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 wait. Don't hurt her. Very well. I cannot lose my son again. You will not take him from So Hall the accuser is so probably a Ronin's no one will stand in mother. Way. I lost someone too. Someone I loved. I am sorry. But this is much larger than a single life. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. So I was like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't charge. To the Kree. Our rightful place in the stars shall be restored. I know what it's capable of. It let me relive a memory with my mom. It can do so much more than that. Please do, do share. You not know how this works, do you? Mm, a little bit. You said you lost your mother. Would you kill someone to bring her back? Oh, I think yes, he has to react I would. fairly As here. Would I? Billions of Kree have died. Bringing them all back will require many sacrifices. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Oh. oh. No. Bro, first Thanos, now Peter. Oh no, not Gamora too. Guardians to the rescue. Watch the relic. 
Got it. Where's Gamora? Where's Gamora? Peter. Peter, I'm Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Oh no. How bad? Uh, is it? I've got you. Rocket, we gotta go. Hollis ship, it's coming after us. I don't know if we can outrun her. We have to try. Stay with me, Peter. Does PDQ have a boo-boo? Tell that was to walk it up. Oh no. I am Groot? I don't know, buddy. I hope so. Hey guys. This is your fault, Green Witch. You allowed him to die. As if you could have done any better. Either of you. Yeah, go on. Blame the guy who rescued him. This is really not the time to be fighting right now. Peter. Peter, no. Sheesh. If you've got that sheesh emote, drop that in the comments. Oh. It's only rock and roll. Chapter 6 of Episode 1. Oh, this is when his mom passed. Oh, that transition was like, oh my goodness, he's actually dead? Give me some time to say goodbye. <laughs> and this really is super sad. That's Yondu, isn't it? Your mom would smack you upside the head she saw you moping over like this. Quills ain't no little babies. My mom just... My mama ate three of my brothers. I'd have been happy to see her go. Ha! You better pull it together, boy. Because I'm the closest thing you got to family right now. Now let's get. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. Who are you? The name's Yondu Udanta, Centaurian, leader of the Ravagers. Keep up. Your ma wrote me into taking care of you if something ever happened. Something happened. Now, you can come with me easy, or am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Won't do you much good. You're a bony little scrap of nothing. And why should I trust you? Because my word is my bond, boy. What I say, I do. There's nothing in between. So what's it going to be? All right. I'm ready to get out of here. I trust you. That a boy. Come on. Let me show you your new home. So he's reliving another memory. Don't worry, my little Star Lord. A 
I'm here to help you. It'll be all right. Oh. Is that really you? You'll understand soon. Mom? Oh, is she healing his wound? Be waiting for you. Dude. And the fact that he killed Thanos so quick, I thought maybe Quill doesn't last very long either. Holy moly, what a freaking first episode. Tangled up in blue. That was insane. Refresh to download the latest choices. Okay, so we're just going to press refresh data. Unable to connect. Okay, so well, that's because there are no servers to connect to, so that's why. But let's take a look at our decisions here real quick. Oh, never mind. This thing recording? I guess we can't see the decision. Okay, so, yeah. Thought once Thanos was kaput, we'd have to change our name. Heroes of the Galaxy. Partyers of the Galaxy. Huh. Yeah, but the thing about this place, it never stays guarded for long. As soon as Hala found out we had the Eternity Forge, we shot up to Numero Uno on her murder list. Yes, dying hurt a lot. What kind of question is that? This is like a vlog. Yeah, uh, you know what, buddy? Why don't I? these questions since we're putting this on record it was a brilliant idea to pawn off Thanos but I ain't thrilled those idiots at the Nova Corps ended up with them you see units pouring out of my ears cuz I don't Peter ain't a bad kid bit of a whiny pushover on his best days soon as he showed up at my hideout I could tell he got himself in some kind of trouble the Kree ain't folks you want to mess with. Ooh, so I think Yondu might be a ma making more of a, Avoid a prominent appearance, I suppose. Maybe in the future episodes. Once she found out what the Eternity Forge could do, everything it could do, there was no stopping her. I'm going to use an Earth analogy here, so just bear with me. The Guardians were like the Beatles. I'm John, Gamora is Paul, Rocket is Ringo, Drax is George, and Groot, well... Groot is just Groot. Groot. It's, it's, it's not a perfect analogy, all right? <laughs> we yell, sure. We fight. But damn, do we make beautiful music. I just hope I can keep the band together. Or this galaxy doesn't stand a chance. Well, for at least four more episodes after this one, we will definitely uh, keep the band together. So there you guys have it. That was episode one in the books. A nice extra lengthy start to our adventure. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, let's go on ahead and try to hit a thousand likes. In addition to that, guys, of course, don't forget, you can also show support to the channel by grabbing some Blitzwinger merch. Thank you to those of you that have been representing the Blitz Army. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, in addition to that, you can also become a member of the channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everybody.